Holy bonfire on my Aunt Sally's lawn. Look at the size of this thing. This is going to be a nightmare. Look at all the information we're given. Look at all this stuff. Look at what I'm trying to prove. It's everywhere. So what I need to do is I need to go from all of this info and show that BAE, which is you, is congruent to BCE, which is you. So I'm told stuff about parallel lines, so I'm probably going to have to deal with alternate interior angles or maybe some type of angle, but it looks to me more like alternate interior angles. I'm told that BE, this upy downy thing, and DF, this lefty righty thing, are perpendicular. That gives me the 90 degree angle. I'm also told that AEB and CEB are the same so I have a lot of stuff going on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is make myself a rough draft. So I'm, I'm not even going to try to do this right away. Um, I'm going to save the parallel line stuff. I'm told that BE is perpendicular to DF. So what that means, if BE is perpendicular to DF, I can start out by saying that the measure, and again, this is a rough draft that I'm about to make, so don't cling to the fact that I'm not using the proper symbols and stuff like that. I can say that BED and BEF are both 90. BED is 90 bed, and BEF is also 90. I know that BED is BEA. Actually, they want me to do AEB. I hate it when they put it out of order. Uh, BED is these two guys added together. So uh, AEB plus AED, a shocking angle. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. Is 90. Also, uh, BEF consists of BEC, but they want me to write it out as CEB. So CEB plus CEF is 90. Angle addition postulate. <sighs> what do I know? I know that. I know that these guys are the same. So why don't I just take one of them and replace one of them with like, I don't know, why don't I take this AEB and replace it with CEB? So I have CEB plus AED equals 90. You don't change. You don't change. You don't change. So since they're both 90, why don't I try this out? Why don't I try the transitive property and write out CEB plus AED, which equals 90. Since that equals 90, they're now equal to each other. So CEB plus CEF. Now, what I can do is since CEB is on the left and the right, I can subtract that out and end up with AED equals CEF. Now, this is terrific news because AED is this guy right here. AED is this guy right here, which is congruent to A or BAE. Okay, they want me to use BAE, not CAE, annoying, but that's what they want me to do. These guys are congruent. Why? Because this is parallel and these are alternate interior angles. So I can say BAE is congruent to AED. And I can say that CEF which is this guy, is congruent to C... How do they want me to write it out? BCE. BCE. <laughs> and that's because of the parallel line stuff. 
So since AED is CEF, I can write out BAE instead of AED is equal to, and instead of CEF, I can write out BCE, and that's what I want to do. So there's a lot going on here. This is my rough draft. We're going to have to write small. So here I go, my given. Oh my gosh. Time is money. Space is money. This is my given. Given. Okay. Don't leave comments like, you're lazy. I hate you. Only three people watch these movies anyway. And if someone actually does watch this and gets this far, please do write in the comments, why I hate, you're lazy. I hate you. I would appreciate that. All right. The measure of angle BED, now I have to bring back my symbols to be appropriate. The measure of angle BED is 90 degrees. And the measure of angle BEF is 90 degrees. I'm going to regret putting that in two lines. I'm going to run out of room. Uh, the reason for that is the definition of perpendicular angles. Okay, let's get smaller. Aim small, miss small. Patriot. <sighs> the measure of angle AEB plus the measure of angle AED is 90 degrees. And the measure of angle CED plus the measure of angle CEF is 90 degrees. That was because I added these two angles to get that. I added these two angles to get that angle addition postulate. I then said that CEB plus AED is 90 degrees, and I used substitution for that. So angle, the measure of angle CEB plus the measure of angle AED is 90. And I use the substitution property for that one. Once I have this guy equals 90, that guy equals 90, I set them equal to each other. So that was the measure of angle CEB plus the measure of angle CEF equals the measure of angle CEB plus AED. Gosh darn it. That was transitive property. CB on the left and CB on the right cancel out, and that's because of the subtraction property. So that left me with AED is congruent or equal to the measure of angle CEF. And I did subtraction property of equality. I think I'm going to make it. That led me to go back to the parallel lines information and allowed me to say alternate interior angle stuff. So that was the measure of angle BAE was equal to the measure of angle AED and the measure of angle CEF is congruent to the measure of angle BCE. And that was definition of 
alternate interior angles. And last but not least, since AED was BAE and CEF was BEC or BCE, then Bay is before Christ. Sounds like my dating history, right? The measure of angle BAE is the same as the measure of angle BCE, and that was substitution property of equality. Maybe you can get away with transitive for that one. Substitution. That was a nightmare. I don't know if there's a faster way that you could do it. I don't know if there's a way that you can do it in less steps, but you know what? You're not watching my videos to do it any better way. You're watching my videos because you love me. So yeah, that, that is a uh, proof where you need to use parallel lines and perpendicular lines to your advantage. And we did, it took a while. It was worth every second just to spend it with you. Like and subscribe.